Hi there, this is Kerry Decker. You may remember a little while ago, I did a report about the first 8mm sound movie camera back in the late 1950s, and that was the Fairchild uh, movie camera and uh, the Cinephonic 8. A great camera. Well, I've got another camera for you tonight that's equally exciting. It's the Wittnauer Cine Twin camera. And this has got a four lens turret. That's different. All of them have three lenses. I wonder what that fourth position is for. Well, it's a very unusual camera indeed. Also from 1959. So stay tuned as we take a look at the Wittnauer Cine Twin. Hi there, this is Kerry Decker, and welcome back to another look at uh, an unusual movie camera uh, that is in my collection that I would like to share with you. And this one is called the Wittnauer Cine Twin, and it was a camera that uh, was uh, put out in 1959, and it was uh, actually uh, patented and designed by Mr. Oxberry, and uh, he was uh, famous to all you people who may remember the Oxberry animation stand, and uh, this is his baby. This is a camera which uh, he designed and put out back in the uh, 1950s, and uh, actually it was sold through jewelry stores here in the uh, United States. Uh, you may recall Wittenauer watches, uh, especially the quiz shows back in the 1950s often had uh, gifts and everything to the contestants of uh, the famous Wittenauer watch. Well, anyway, uh, the jewelry stores wanted to sell uh, a different item. They wanted to diversify a little bit, and they thought, well, you know what? We will sell a movie camera that is totally unique and something that is not carried by your conventional uh, camera stores. So they came up with this camera, thanks to Mr. Oxbury, of a uh, what's called the Cine Twin Camera. Camera. Now I showed you one at the very beginning. I've got two of these actually and uh, this is the turret model right here and uh, also there is a, another model uh, which was put out uh, a little bit later which is the zoom lens model uh, which is what uh, I've got here in, uh, in front of me. And uh, this was a very unique camera and the reason is is because now you'll see that this camera is sitting on a base and um, <laughs> if you turn this little knob right here, all right, it unloosens it, and the camera comes off the base, all righty, and you have what looks like a conventional 8mm, it was, it was a double 8mm movie camera, and unique back in these uh, old days because the uh, large viewfinder uh, here on the side, it was not a reflex camera, okay, when you slid this lever, to see uh, what the focal lengths and everything look like. There is a mechanical attachment in here which would zoom the zoom lens at the same time. So when you went to zoom, you had to look through here and zoom the viewfinder and it would in turn zoom the lens itself. Now also on the front here you will also see that uh, there is a second lens and that was the exposure meter. It had a separate exposure meter built in automatic and everything so that's the little eyeball that would see and set the camera uh, for its uh, exposure. Now you keep asking, well, what's, what's some of the unique features about this camera? It takes double 8 millimeter film. That's not unusual. And 1959, okay, big, heavy, um, <laughs> solid cameras. Well, one of the things is, and uh, there's this little trap door right here that opens up. It was battery operated, so you never had to wind uh, the camera. It uh, had, uh, and to uh, make it kind of exciting here, it took D size batteries. So it took three D batteries, which is very heavy batteries, which would fit in this compartment. But at least you weren't, uh, you didn't have to worry about uh, running out of uh, film every 30 seconds and having to wind it back up again. So you could uh, shoot some long scenes with this camera, which made it nice. But the most unusual feature about this camera, which I'm going to show you close up, uh, is the fact, in fact, let me take the side off here first, all right? As you can see, it loaded just like a, a regular movie camera. Nothing very different there. Okay. But uh, anyway, the most unusual feature about this camera is the fact that it was also a projector. That's right. 
the camera was a projector. And uh, so when you bought this item, you would have both the camera and the projector all in one unit. And that is what uh, made it unique, and that was why it was called the Cine Twin, because it would go on to this electrified base, and uh, the camera would then become a projector. Let me show you a couple uh, close-up pictures here, and then I will show you some more uh, video scenes uh, with that. So I have a... a uh, some pictures here that uh, I, I think you would like to see. All right, the first one up is uh, this is what the outfit looked like as like with a travel case and uh, you can see the camera and the projector base, a movie reel and cord and everything along with uh, the carrying cases. Let's take a look at the right hand side of the camera and you can see that uh, here we have um, you know all the controls and it looks nice. I'm going to switch to the other side. Now this is the left side of the camera with that viewfinder that I was talking about. And you just kind of slid the viewfinder uh, switch back and forth. And on the zoom model, this is the turret shown here, but on the zoom model it would uh, go back and forth. Now let's take a look at the next picture here which is, shows you kind of from the back side of the camera. It shows you the base and uh, what the camera looks like. All right. Next up is that battery compartment, a little bit closer up, so you can see where the D-size batteries uh, fit in. Okay, and the next one is we're setting up for projection here. The top part of the, hidden inside the camera are two projection arms uh, that you could put your film on. And as we look at the last picture here, you'll also see that uh, we got it set up and uh, ready to put a movie on so you can watch back your films uh, through the camera and not just the projector. And then on the base we have a couple switches here to turn the projector on and off and then also to put it into like still, reverse, and forward. Okay. And to find the lamp on the right hand side you would push in a little button and up would pop the cover and there is the projector bulb inside of the camera. Looking inside the left side of the camera, here is the traditional way if you're going to shoot movies where the film path would go around, down behind the gate and onto the take-up reel. But if you wanted to show movies, you have the two reels, the two reel arms which pop up and that's when you can thread the projector going through these other set of wheels to uh, go on to your take-up reel and your supply reel. And there's a little threading diagram to show you uh, how to do that. So your projection arms are inside the camera along with the light bulb so you can show your movies. There's your on and off switch, your uh, forward and reverse and still, and everything is all set. You would show your film uh, through the camera lens just like the one that uh, you shot through and it acts both as a projector and camera lens. So this was an amazing camera the Wittenauer Cine Twin camera from 1959 we're going to put it back on the base and screw it down and you'll be all set to watch your movies and uh, you'll be ready to go. A very rare and unusual camera they were only made for one year and uh, they made some other models which were just a standard camera and whatnot but the Cine Twin model which uh, would both shoot and show your movies was most unusual for the time. So I hope that you enjoyed a look back at this uh, camera from about 50 years ago and uh, we'll get a chance to show you some more unusual cameras that are in my collection. In the meantime this is Kerry Decker thanking you for your time this time until next time We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.